Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 39, The Passage by Justin Cronin. I'm torn when it comes to this book. A couple friends recommended it, and the audiobook is narrated by my favorite narrator, Scott Brick, who also said it was an amazing book in an interview I heard on a podcast. In many ways, it is an amazing book. It contains some of the best stuff I've ever read. But it suffers from a bloated middle. I was bored through most of that part. At a whopping 300,000 words, it seems like there was plenty that could have been cut out without damaging the story. That said, let me mention some stuff I loved about this book. The first part of the book was awesome. Really interesting. I loved the premise, the way it was explained, and the characters. I read what easily could have been its own book, and I was enthralled. I couldn't get enough. The little girl and the two detectives, it was all awesome. I kept wondering what the heck could fill up the rest of the story with such a great arc going. I won't spoil anything, but I'll just say once the first big story arc ended, I was jolted into another story. But it felt like another book. I was still reading the passage, but it was like someone had stuffed a second book in. It all gets tied together by the end, but I just didn't care for any of the new characters or even the setting until almost the end of the book. When Mr. Cronin writes action scenes, they are riveting. This is what I was talking about when I said this book has some of the best stuff I've ever read. I found myself rooting for the characters and really feeling the brutal action that was happening. Whenever something crazy went down in this book, Justin knocked it out of the park. There's no doubt in my mind that Mr. Cronin is an amazing writer. I think, like me, he just needs to learn how to tell a story better, which means cutting stuff out that isn't interesting or doesn't move the story forward. Some of it was pretty interesting, but I just didn't care. I still wanted more of the first story arc he told. The dialogue was pretty good in this book, too, when it was about something interesting. Once I finally cared about all the new characters near the end of the book, I was really into their conversations and felt like I was right there with them, listening in. I think if Justin would have cut the characters that get a lot of time in the spotlight way down, then this book would have been much better. There's too much in this book. It should not be 300,000 words long. So am I going to read the sequel to The Passage? Maybe someday, but I doubt it. My list of books to read is so long, I won't get to the bottom of it until I'm in my 90s, and I turn 30 this year. (laughs) That's funny. I was turning 30 the year that I wrote this review, which was three years ago because now I am 33. So it was written in 2013 because now it's 2016. Will I keep my eye on Justin Cronin and read reviews of new books he writes to see if he's cured himself of novel bloat because I think he's a great writer when he's doing it right? Yes. Yes, I will. My two friends that recommended this book to me really liked it. And hey, you might too. If you want to give it a try, go grab the sample at Amazon or listen to the audio sample read by the great Scott Brick. Wow, it's really funny that I'm reading this review because just yesterday I was talking to one of my friends about the second book because... As I record this, the third book is coming out very soon. It is the middle of February 2016. Uh, it's almost the end. It's, it's uh, February 24th. 
And uh, anyway, let me tell you one other way to get this book for free. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free 30-day trial on Audible just for trying out their service. And you get a free audiobook. You can get any audiobook of your choice, but I recommend The Passage by Justin Cronin, narrated by my favorite, Scott Brick. Scott Brick is amazing. And the more I think back on this book, the more I realize just how good a lot of it was. <laughs> Not everyone got as bored with the book as I did. And I don't know if it was really just that I was bored or that the jolt from one storyline to the other was just so great that while I was reading the beginnings of the second story, all I could think about was how I still just wanted to know what was happening to the characters from the first storyline. And you do get to find out what happened to them, but uh, many, many, many chapters later. So, um, But my friend was telling me that he really wants to read the second book in the series because our other friend who we work with said that the second book wasn't nearly as bad with the big bloated boring parts. He said that the second book was a much better read. And like I said, um, honestly, some of the stuff in the passage literally is some of the best stuff I've ever read. Like, I don't think I've ever read action scenes done as well as Justin Cronin did in the passage. I really felt like I was right there in the scene. I really felt like nervous and excited and on the totally on the edge of my seat as I listened to the audiobook. So if you want to experience that and you're ready to just know that when the storyline changes, just be ready for a total new set of characters and a total new setting that you're just going to have to dive into and know that it will all get wrapped up together by the end. So yeah, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews to get your free audiobook. And I recommend getting The Passage by Justin Cronin, narrated by Scott Brick. Now let's get back to that review, even though I've pretty much still been in that review. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like I said, um, it's kind of like you've probably heard me talk about The Wheel of Time. That is an epic fantasy book, very, very long, just like The Passage. It has some of the coolest stuff I've ever read from any book in it. But it also has lots of boring chapters. So, I don't know. And as I say that, there are lots of people who have read the Wheel of Time books like literally eight or nine times, even though they're each hundreds and hundreds of pages long just big fat door stoppers so those parts aren't boring to everyone just maybe to me sometimes so I don't know it's kind of a journey that you go on to get to these high points that are just amazing it's not always fun hiking to the top of the mountain but when you get there the view is so fantastic that it was worth the hard work now should reading be hard work I don't think so but I don't know it's obviously not hard work for everyone. The very first epic fantasy book in Brandon Sanderson's new series, The Way of Kings, the Stormlight Archive, the first book is The Way of Kings. I only liked that book 75% of the way through it, and it was over 1,000 pages long. But by the end of that book, I was totally invested in the characters and loved them and was hooked and loved this book and was ready to read the second one, and I read the second one, and I loved that one even more. So, I don't know. Okay, so saying that, I've talked to a lot of people who said they were hooked and enthralled the whole way through on that book, and none of it was boring to them, and it just blew them away, and they think it's the best epic fantasy book they've ever read. <laughs> so, take what I say with a grain of salt, and... Uh, all that to say, that's how you might feel about The Passage. One of the main reasons I read this is that I heard Stephen King in an interview saying how he loved The Passage and thought it was a fantastic book. And like I said, Justin Cronin is a brilliant writer. When he's doing it right, I mean, the guy is on fire. He is just, he's just great. 
I think he just needs to edit some of the bloat out. And I just don't think the story he wanted to tell, even though it's long and sweeping, needed to be that long. <laughs> so, all that to say, um, you can give it a try for free if you're not an Audible member yet. Go to audibletrial.com slash Reviews for your free copy. Or, you know, you can get any, any audiobook of your choice. And when you do that, it helps me out and helps support this show. So, thank you guys so much for listening. I really appreciate it. And, um, let's see here. Ah, oh, cool. Next week, I'm going to review I Don't Want to Kill You by Dan Wells. It's a really cool supernatural thriller where the main character is a sociopath. All right. Hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at Incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.